Welcome everybody, I'm Craven, and this is Illusion of Gaia. I've been wondering lately about uh, what kind of retro game I wanted to play next as a playthrough, because I'm trying to divide a little bit between uh, new games and the old games, because I really like them both. And seeing as the last older game we did was Sweet Coden, I was thinking what would be a nice one to do next. And the Soul Blazer trilogy has always been in my head of games that I wanted to play. And uh, that means it's Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, and Terra uh, All three of them always have been a couple of my uh, favorite games out there. Not the only one. There are plenty of others, but those ones are always in my head and they always come back as games that I want to make a let's play of. So, I thought to myself I could begin at Soul Blazer, then Illusion of Gaia, and then Terra Nygma, but I think because the stories are not interconnected, they are like with the same overarching, uh, let's say, plot, same position, like re uh, restarting the world and stuff like that. I think. They make it so uh, that I can do it in any order I like. And for this morning, I was uh, talking to Crimson Green. He's ba he's basically my uh, retro library, helping me get the games that I want to play in retro. Uh, and this one kept popping up in our conversation of a game that we wanted to do. So for now, our next retro game is Illusion of Gaia. So let's start this game. And I really do hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, start from the beginning. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't think we need to do anything drastically different. My name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow I made it back to South Cape. I still can't believe my father is gone. I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world. Somewhere I know I will meet my father. That's all for today's lesson. You four do your best not to fall behind. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. I see you guys at the usual place. I have to go home first. I see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. <laughs> Our first steps in this beautiful game. That's us, Will. Uh, not equipped. Uh -huh. Ah, there's a button. Just to retract. Yes. Are we able to attack just yet? Probably not. Like always, the cave at the seashore. Oh, Will, please reside with me. The world shines on brightly throughout eternity. Yeah, let's not. Alright, let's go on top. And as you, some of you might know, there is like an overarching side story. Not a story, but more side quest of collecting red jewels. I will try my best to get as many as we can, but since it's been quite a decent amount of time since I last played this, there is a chance I will miss one, but I will do my utmost best to collect them all. Alright, then what's this? this... Back to the dark space dimension. I am Gaia, the source of all life. I will help you on your journey. Only one with the dark power can see this space. You are the chosen one. In a dark space you can record a travel journal. Stop there before you depart. Yes, please. Finished recording. Continue your journey. Yes. Then go. Alright. 
will be here plenty of times over all the places we're gonna go because this is technically our save point and later on also hop for other stuff but I'm not gonna spoil anything just in case you're one of those people that has never seen this game hey Will how many times have I told you not to come up here you have a habit of jumping down from places well I guess I can't really stop you found our first red jewel nice if I remember correctly, there should be three red jewels in this town. You look like a fast runner. To run, push the control pad twice. Alright, not bad. Uh, I am the jewel gem. Oh, jeweler gem, yes. <laughs> I control the seven seas. What's your business? I uh, just want to see you. Give reward jewels to your inventory. Yeah, and this is the thing. This is the person that will meet over a lot of places. And he has an inventory. I will give you goods for your jewels as written on the list. So the more jewels we deliver to him, uh, the better gifts we get. I don't remember what my secrets are, but we definitely want the psycho power and the dark power. The rest is just little bits of extra things along the way. Let's see, does uh, give the one we have right now. This is a rare jewel, let me hold it for you. There is now one jewel in the room. I just want to see you. Is that right? How do you do? Once you hold up the red jewel, you'll have to come running to my place. I'm a famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. It's the pause button. Yes, here it is. The menu. And this is also where the red jewels will be uh, collected. And that's why you do need to make sure that you deliver them to the jeweler. Because eventually, your entire list will be filled up and you won't be able to hold any more items. So, Let's see, condition. Uh, HP 8, items, none. Alright. Good. Let's explore the town a little bit more. I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why. He hates to see his parents fighting every day. <laughs> no sooner was the door to Seth's house opened than a jerk came out flying out. Yep. Their parents have a very passionate wedding. Let's keep it at that. What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? It's no joke, that man. I put up with his Seth's sake, but if it weren't for him, I'd have left long ago. Alright, and red juice can in be in anything? So we will search every barrel, pot and stuff like that. Wasn't there a pot here? So Did this lady just steal this pot? No, no, I'm not gonna assume right from the start. She did! The lady stealing pots all over town. What the hell? Uh, this is Lan's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Alright. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. Who knows? Maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. Let's go into the basement. And found our second red jewel. Nice. I can remember if you can also find other stuff lying around in pots, barrels and stuff like that. My astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. That is very strange and very ominous, because if a star gets too close, we'll be burnt to a bloody crisp. Hold it. Many demons have prowling around outside of town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave town without your parents? But I have no parents. My father is gone. Uh, salesman. I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. We may live in trouble times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. And trust me, before this day is over, I'll make sure you will. I'm worried. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. I 
Just checking if there's no uh, other way inside of the house. Hmm, nice smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. Okay, that seemed like very dangerous. Having an open flame in the middle of their house on the wooden floor. Okay, we better get out of here, else I do not want to be here when this house burns up in flames. Uh, this is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Welcome home, Will. Dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a little while. Coming home at this hour probably means you had to stay after school again. <laughs> Excellent! Even if a boy can study, he should show a little initiative. Yes. Because uh, being rambunctious as a youth shows you have initiative, you have confidence, you gotta go for it. Trust me, those words will come back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> How long have you been playing this? It's strange, this game is like red light, green light. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! Alright, you can jump off, but let's go into the house first. My friend Eric lives here. This is the biggest house in South Cape. We'll envy people born to rich families. But yes, because they have the resources to get whatever they want. Oh, don't worry, I'm not on fire. <laughs> it's just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. Oh, she's definitely on fire. She must be super hot. It's the little things in life that makes you rich or poor. Well, heard any good stories? Yes, of course, uh, you know that. Workers like to gossip. Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. So basically, he built the biggest house out there that he could before anyone else started building theirs. Hoping that this will become a town and not a barren wasteland with just one gigantic house on it. Well, I think he's lucky that uh, he's got his uh, choice at least. Uh, I envy you when I see the sea breeze blowing your hair like that. Not like mine, on the scarf. It doesn't blow my hair right, does it? I know it does whenever you are in front of a place... Ah, there it is! When the wind starts blowing freely. Even if I move to another place, I can't pull it up. Right, and this guy over here? He's the one with the last th uh, jewel, red jewel in this area. He just needs to change his position. <laughs> but let us first go to... Uh, the boys, and see how they're doing. It was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. Usually, when lessons were done at the school, they came gathering there to talk and play games until sundown. What is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to win against... again for sure. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Ah, news! Big news! The princess of Edward Castle has run away. They say she came to South Cape. That's all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara. The one you like so much. Liar! Maybe the soldiers will come here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet too. And that's it. <laughs> that's all there is for the excitement. Yeah, Eric uh, probably has a little crush on her. I'm not interested in girls. I like adventures better. Will, get over here and sit next to Eric. Everyone's here, what should we do today? 
I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moved the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Will, show me again. Oh, it moved! Next, pick a card. Any card. I'll put four cards facing down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. And I guess he said, uh, pick up the card that you think is the Ace of Diamonds, yes. Ah, oh, if I could only do that. No matter how many times I see it, I'm still amazed. But why can you move the statue when you can't move anything else? Alright, I'm gonna go with rule of three. It's the Ace of Diamonds, of course. Oh, right! I'm speechless. Hey Seth, this is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Seth, let's play one more game. One more game with Seth and I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to win again for sure. If I, I only could do that. Alright. And as you can see, the sun is starting to go down on this town. And we need to go home. But before we do that, there is one more thing I really want to do. It was really dark by the time Will left the cave. Yes, there is the last red jewel I want to get. And the only way to get it is to move back and forth because the fisherman randomly changes spots every time you go in and out. And we're gonna wait until he comes right at the place that we want him to be. And it could be like two tries, three tries or 100 tries, but he will be there eventually. If it takes any longer, I will just speed the things uh, up. Come on, I know you'll be there. I know you can be there. Okay. After what I can say is about 200 times. <laughs> he's finally there. The man with the pot. And this is a one that is very easily missed. That's one of the reasons why it's so clear in my mind that I could get it right now. If I remember it, I will not be forgotten. And there it is, the third red jewel. He lifted the strange pot. Yes, and the strange pot is now mine. Okay, so before we go all the way back home, I'm gonna go back on the roof and give my two jewels to the jeweler. Just to make sure he has it, and just to show you guys what I was talking about, here are the two jewels. I'm gonna give it to him. This is a rare jewel. Let me hold it for you. There are now three jewels in the room. You've collected more than three jewels. According to the list, you get the herb. You receive the herb. Yes. And the herb is basically just a way to restore yourself if, in case you get hurt too much. The, I don't think there is any shops in this game that you can rebuy more herbs, so you gotta be careful with what you use. When you use it, it's gone, so we gotta be careful with that. The pig's wrecking the room! But why is there a pig in my house? Oink oink. Oink oink. A very aggressive pig, it seems. Hamlet, you shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Yeah, so? Frankly, 
You look a little bit shabby. Well, excuse me. Your father? Mother? Not here? Huh. Is this a picture of your parents? My father's an explorer. He... I know. Ullman. The explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No? I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. Anyway, is there a piano here? No, there isn't, but Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. Uh, welcome back, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of time. Then it's not ready yet. Oh my, haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. <laughs> oh, you, bringing up a thing like that. Will, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago. No! A scream from downstairs. Princess, we've been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone. What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. What do I care if you lose your head? Princess! Do you think I have nothing better to do than to chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. I'm so sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. Well, I feel as though we've met before, as we were good friends. Do I read between the lines that she might want me to save her? I don't know. That might be the case. It does feel that way. So, that girl likes to play practical jokes. <laughs> Edward's castle. There's a big viaduct under the castle. Your grandfather designed it. What? Really? There's a... Uh, he used to be architect. There's a prison under the castle. It is built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and I never heard from again. Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I made a delicious pie. Let's sit at the table upstairs. Okay. Yeah, there's one thing uh, I already noticed about this game that I totally forgot about is that uh, text also move on when you press your uh, cursor. So I think I've lost like two messages so far. So I will try to uh, better watch myself while going forward. I just didn't realize. Well, do you think Lola's meals have been a little strange lately? Last night, licorice and rice. Before that, mouse fritters. I can't stand it anymore. Sometimes old people, if they're surrounded by problems, get a little forgetful. Maybe there's something bothering her that she can't talk about. Enough serious talk, let's eat dinner. I made a delicious pie. Let's uh, sit at the table upstairs. We sat down to a feast of snail pie with whipped cream. I only got one piece, but Grandpa Bill ate half the pie. That night, Will dreamed that Kara and he took a trip around the world. And the next morning, something began to happen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when you were dreaming of Kara, that something really did happen when you woke up. You naughty boy. Uh, I had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. 
Good morning, Will. A letter has come from you from King Edward. This is what is written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from all must things to Edward's castle. King Edward. Oh, I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Oh, Will, I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset, humming this tune makes me feel better. Lola hummed a strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard of it, it seemed oddly familiar. You've learned Lola's melody. Be careful. The crystal ring? Never heard of it. There was nothing like that in the luggage of your father Ullman left behind. Maybe we could go to Edward Castle. We could see the princess. <laughs> yeah, you old, old dirty dog. I'm pretty sure you want to see the princess. Okay, so... Do we then go to the castle saying we do not have a ring? Or is the ring somewhere but we just don't know it yet? Oh well. So I'm guessing the game wants us uh, to go to the castle. And I think I'm gonna check out on the boys near the cape, see if they have anything else to say. Because hey, <laughs> if they learn that I'm going to the castle to see Kara, I'm pretty sure they will be jealous of it. Yeah, and if I only could do that. They're not even reacting to it, okay, so... Just for shows. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, we're going to the castle now. Alright, let's see what the king has to say to us. And uh, I'm wondering if they will let us go, because I'm not with a parent. King Edward has summoned you to the castle? Well, just be careful. Yep, and there he goes. Not even asking me to prove it that I need to go to the castle. Not even suggesting that I use my grandpa to take me there. Nope. Does a child on the road alone where there are demons. <laughs> Thanks, guard. You've done a fine job. Alright. The world map. Where are we going? To Edward's castle. This is King Edward's castle. I must report this intrusion. Will shows the letter to the guard. A guest of the king? I'm sorry, you may pass. Oh, right. And as far as I know, I think there is one more jewel here as well. Uh, this is King Edward's castle. Be courteous and know that the king is very strict. Where are you going? Why are you standing behind the pole? Don't raise your voice and mind your manners. In exchange, I will give you one red jewel. Yeah, that's the one I was uh, talking about. Alright, let's check out the castle a little bit before we head over to the king. Checking the barrels for food. This is the underground prison. Innocent people cannot enter. So, Head on in. <laughs> so you will. You were summoned by King Edward. Be careful when you meet with him. I uh, love you. Well, he is shy. I'm glad that somewhere in the world there is someone who is thinking of me. This is the prince's room. Strangers cannot enter. Who is it? A guest? 
This is just a shabby boy. It's me, Kara. Oh, that voice. Let him in or I'll tell everyone your old nickname. Oh, <clears throat> pardon me. Please enter. You, yesterday, I was told to bring the crystal ring to King Edward. Terrible, it's terrible. Again, my father is trying to take something important from someone. I've escaped from the castle before, but it won't let me go out. Recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It's ominous. Princess, let's go. I feel scared. My father and mother seem to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here, please. Princess. Please come back, Will. Checking her drawers for her extra diary or something where we can read her through touch. Please come back, Will. Your business is finished. Get out. Alright, alright, we're going. Alright. So, we saw Kara. The only thing we have to do right now is talk to the king and see what we can do with the crystal ring he wants. Ooh, more snares. Recently, a hunter was hired. I wonder what the king is thinking. Well, I'm getting curious about this hunter guy now. The interview room is before you. Climb the stairs to meet the king. So you are Will. Sorry to have you kept you waiting. Let's go see King Edward. If you want to see the king, keep your wits about you. Yes. The king sends you the letter. Talk to him. Your will. You look so shabby. Well, did you bring the crystal ring? Uh, no, because I don't know where it is. How dare you say such a thing to me? Guards, throw this impudent weasel in prison. Then you go to Will House and find this ring. Yes, sir. Ma'am, save me! Did you say ma'am? And just like that, we're thrown into prison. <laughs> I wonder why I have to suffer so. I wonder what will become of me now. Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. Well, Trying to find a way to get out of here. That's what we're gonna do next time because we did hear that our grandpa was the architect of this prison. So I'm pretty sure there has to be a way to get out of here. We cannot rot and die in this cell all along. So next time we're gonna try to figure out how to get out of the cell and see if we can get out of this castle and if God willing save Kara at the same time. But that's gonna be the next episode. I hope you'll be there then. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.